Texas is across the valley. The Las Vegas farm, located on Grand Teton and Tanea, has been hit financially by the pandemic. 8 News Now reporter Kay Houston spoke to the owner, who says these setbacks aren't stopping them from moving forward with fall activities. The Las Vegas farm in the Northwest is a sanctuary for animals that have been abused or neglected. Every animal here comes to us in trouble. Every animal comes to us in a, in a, in a horrific state. Sharon Linson Bart owns the farm and has dedicated her life to rehabilitating animals, but it comes at a cost. Feed alone is more than $7,000 a month. Due to the pandemic, the farm lost its steady stream of field trips and weddings. Without those sources of income, it's really difficult for us to be able to feed and care for these animals that are in trouble. Linson Bart is now looking towards fall, hoping it can give them the boost they need. During the fall season, many families come to the farm to feed animals like Hazel here and pick some pumpkins. And despite the pandemic, the farm will be moving forward with some family-friendly activities in a safe fashion. Linson Bart plans to sell pumpkins, but spread the area out to keep families distanced. She tells me the farm has hosted fall festivals for over 40 years. She wants to continue that tradition. With the families that come in here, uh, with this openness that we've got, everybody can stay far enough away from each other to be able to have a real fun day. In the meantime, Linson Bart is keeping the farm open every weekend so the community can browse their farmer's market and interact with the animals. And that'll keep helping us until we can get back into our field trips and our weddings and the other things that bring in enough money so we can continue here. Kate Houston, 8 News Now. If you're interested in donating feed or supplies, you can head to the LasVegasFarm.com. They're also now looking for volunteers for the upcoming fall season.